So if we're looking at tachycardia, why do we spend so much time trying to understand the parts of the brain and evaluate the parts of the brain that are in control of balance and posture and in control of the way that our eyes move and the way our vision processes? The reason we spend a lot of time focusing on that is because of the relationship that those neurological centers have with the automatic centers that control how do we get blood from our heart up to our head. The better we do at coordinating those two systems together, the more sharp, the less latency, less reaction time that we have in being able to close that loop so that we can stand up, we can move around, we can run and jump, and our brain understands how to manage our heart to keep the blood flow into the brain. So it's very beautiful. And looking at these systems is like looking through the window into how that brain is operating. And we can see what the contexts are that make us better at being able to do those things, to be able to manage blood flow to the brain, but also what things are detrimental to managing that blood flow to the brain. So we can look at simple things like the way people move their eyes and how that changes their blood flow. We can look at how they understand where their head is in space and how that changes the blood flow. So there are these really amazing look-throughs that we can have that are very simple to do. You don't have to cut anything open. You don't have to inject any dye. You can just observe them in people on the fly, and it's really, really helpful. So that is why we spend time looking at eyes and balance in people with tachycardia. There we go.